Morning. Morning. What are you doing in my underwear? I could have asked you the same question last night. But you didn't, because you're a lady. Damn right. <laughs> mm. Mm, we're going to be late for work. Oh, my God, for one split second there, I cared. <laughs> Safe to drink out of? Yeah, don't worry, I, I melted out all the bug candle. <laughs> Do you want mine instead? Uh, that's okay, I'll just take a shower. That'll wake me up. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry, it'll just be a second. My way. <laughs> well, you could keep you going first. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, um. yeah, I'm fine. Just <laughs> I hope this wasn't expensive. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna call you guys and tell you not to come in, and then I thought, what's in it for me? <laughs> What happened? Electrical fire. The good news is I'm insured. The bad news is the whole place didn't go up. <laughs> Damn sprinkler system. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, and I'm going to be here, and we're going to figure it out together. What happened? Owen just found out it's the last season of M.A.S.H. <laughs> I'm taking the rest of the coffee. Patty's upstairs, and she won't drink instant. Roger, Daddy hasn't even had his yet. If you take that to your girlfriend, I'm going to have to make more. Okay. <laughs> Morning. Hey. Well, what are you doing home? Oh, I lucked out. There was a fire at work. <laughs> Looks like something for you, Katie. Really? Yeah. Oh, and it's from your commanding officer. It's a fun do set. <laughs> Congratulations on your recent nuptials. Did I get married? Uh, well, some of the guys on the ship might think you did. Why would they think that? Because that's what I told them. Okay. After I proposed and you said no, I went back to the ship and they planned this big party. What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to tell them the truth. For God's sake, Katie, have some compassion. They canceled MASH. Weren't you wearing that yesterday? Isn't that a girl's robe? <laughs> I stayed at Tuesdays. I haven't had time to change. So what's your place like? Oh, it's great, man. It's really cool. It's this uh, old loft with high ceilings. Uh, it's really raw with exposed brick, uh, exposed everything. It's a pit, Roger. I hate it. <laughs> Why do you stay there all the time? Because Tuesday's there. Uh, Patty only wants to sleep at my place. Problem is there's no sleep in it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. No, I don't think you do. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Hey, Corey. Patty? Oh, coffee yummers. <laughs> okay, come on now, Roger. I got about a half hour before I got to be at work. You know how it is, Corey. No, I don't. <laughs> Anybody who'll make me flapjacks gets a tenner. Hey, R.T. I want to introduce you to my girlfriend. This is Patty. Nice to meet you. You too. Is there coffee? Hey, I still get a tenner if I make you toast. No, uh, that was Roger's girlfriend, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good for him. I think I had her. 
What? Yeah, it was a few years ago on St. Patrick's Day. We bombed on green beer and she was as cute as a damn leprechaun. At least I think that was her. No, I'm wrong. That's a relief. It was Easter. Corey, this is Zeke, my contractor. How you doing? He used to be a roadie for ZZ Top. Oh, cool. Not really. Billy Gibbons loves pizza. It's my job to pick the cheese out of his beard. Zeke's gonna transform the place. It's gonna make this area look like a tropical oasis. It looked like Maui in here. <laughs> you remember Maui, don't you, Max? Parts of it. <laughs> hey. What do you say we stay at my house tonight? Your house? Why would you want to do that? I thought you liked my place. I do. Just for a change of pace. Three bathrooms, no flying shoes. Oh, so you have a problem with my roommate? She's a little unpleasant. So, what, you want me to stay at your house with you and your family? Well, we don't all sleep in the same room. Yeah. Come on, it'll be fun. We have doors. What's that supposed to mean? I just want to stay at my house. Why is this so important to you? Because you shouldn't care where we stay as long as we stay in the same place. Well, then neither should you, so let's just stay at my house. You know what? Forget it. Why don't you stay at your place tonight and I'll stay at mine? Fine. Fine. Corey, go up back and spot Zeke on the ladder. I need you to keep an eye on him. Sometimes he thinks he can fly. <laughs> Why should I stay at Corey's place? You've been there. They eat together. Everybody gets along. They wear slippers. It's a freak show, Margaret. What, are you afraid of them or something? Yes. That world is a dangerous place. You put one foot in, next thing you know, you're wearing culottes, writing thank you notes, and making hamburger helper. I like hamburger helper. So do I. See how seductive it all is? That's why I have to keep my distance. Hmm? Are you willing to blow this relationship because you want to make a stand about where you sleep? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you will be rewarded by the universe for your efforts as your souls merge into a brilliant cornucopia of light. I'm starting to wonder if that was really an aspirin Zeke gave me. Here's your greyhound, Sophia. Is something wrong? What makes you think something's wrong? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sophia, do you like my house? It's a warm and happy place. <laughs> Damn right it is. <laughs> You tired? In your dreams. Good, because I got big plans for you later. <laughs> See it? Nothing but Patty's boy toy. All she wants me for is sex. That's not true. There's dancing. That's foreplay. You know, sometimes she shows up at the car dealership in the middle of the day in one of her crazy disguises demanding I take her for a test drive. Roger? You shouldn't let a girl use you. You have so much to offer. Yeah? Is that you? <laughs> Good night, fellas. God bless. She's a mess. Yeah. It's kind of refreshing. Sophia's right. I'm gonna tell Patty there's more to me than just sex. Oh, look at her. She's waving at me to come into the ladies' room with her. We haven't done it in there yet. It's kind of hot. What's up? What are you doing here? <laughs> Going to your house. You hear about M.A.S.H.? I made them with my new muffin pans. They were a wedding present we received from the ship's chaplain. 
Oh, Father Chip, that's so nice. Owen, you lied to a man of the cloth. We are not married. And whose fault is that? Hey, kids, how was your night? Great. Corey, by the way, I picked you up a pair of tube socks at the pro shop today. I put them up on your bed. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> hey, R.T. Hey, Roger. Miss? <laughs> well, good night, everyone. Let's go, Roger. Uh, Patty, can we sit for a second and talk? We talked in the car. Come on, move it. <laughs> good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, you'll find fluffy pillows and downy fresh towels in the linen closet. Thanks, Katie. Tuesday, do you need slippers? No, I... I don't. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Are you going somewhere? Katie, what are you doing down here? I was too mad at Owen to sleep in the same bed. So why'd you make him sleep on the couch? It's not very comfortable. <laughs> Did you and Corey have a fight? No, I just, I can't sleep. This house is so quiet. No, I'd, I'd love to hear just one little siren or, or maybe a gunshot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go home. You know what you need? Hot cocoa. Uh, I, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Patty? <laughs> minute there, I thought it was Garfield. <laughs> Sorry, Roger ran out of ice, and I like to have some around just in case I want to wake him up. <laughs> Sophia, it's two o'clock in the morning. What are you doing here? I can't keep this inside any longer. My sister's getting married. Now? No, she's going to be a June bride. The bitch! I can't breathe! You need a drink. All the bars are closed! Not all of them. Come on in. God, it's good to be home. Have you seen Patty? No. no. Have you seen Tuesday? No. no. What about Katie? No. <laughs> oh, my God, they've evacuated the women. With all that racket, somebody better be cooking. <laughs> well, I'm very disappointed. All the women are gone. Well, we should call the police. Owen, relax, will you? I've been around women long enough to know that if one disappears, you got a problem. But if they're all gone, it's a midnight shoe sale. This is nice. The way those pipe sweat's kind of pretty. Uh, Katie, you maybe shouldn't walk over there. Some of those floorboards are kind of loose. Uh, just, just walk back the way you came. Uh, what happened to your wall? I punched a hole in it to see what's inside. <laughs> Are you feeling any better, Sophia? Why would I feel better? I'm sitting in a dump. No offense. Oh, it's a point of pride. <laughs> well, my whole family is celebrating the fact that my sister Bianca is marrying a doctor. <laughs> Sophia, I think there's a hole in your cup. Of course there is. <laughs> You ready? Mm-hmm. It's amazing. You made the room look so big. Well, the wool's gone in it. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I figure tomorrow I'll go pay for the waterfall and put your skylight in. How much of the insurance money's left? About $1,500. You know, I could use more than a waterfall. Some clam chowder and a tour of Alcatraz. Let's go to San Francisco, my treat. Are you serious? I am until this buzz wears off. <laughs> I can't believe 
can't believe they're not back yet. I'm thinking maybe I should come clean with Roger about what happened between me and his girlfriend. Dad, you've never taken the high road before. Why start now? <laughs> Besides, she probably doesn't remember. Well, that'd be a blow. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're right. Shh. Did you hear any corn popping? No. Damn. That was the last one. This is my fault. Katie was so mad at me, she probably decided to run away from home. What did you microwave a tire? I can't believe Tuesday just gets up and bolts. Well, what, is she trying to make some sort of point? Oh, our little household doesn't suit her. No, she'd rather live like a squatter. That somehow makes her happy. Well, you know what? She has insulted the entire family. <laughs> Whatever. You know, this isn't so bad once you get past the grit. I gotta tell you, I'm sort of enjoying this break from Patty. I'm not just on this planet to service her. I've got ideas to share, and wisdom to impart. What should I do about Katie? I don't know, man. I got my own problems. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, huh? Live in a dump and drink out of bug candles the rest of my life? You know what I'm gonna tell her tomorrow at work? Done. Forget it. It's over. Because if she rejects my family, she rejects me. <laughs> what is this, Godfather 3? You know, the funny thing is, Roger thinks I just want him for sex. Sometimes, when I do let him sleep, I read his journal. Oh, he's really poetic. I think my foot stuck. I told you that board was loose. Just pull hard and run real fast in case the floor gives away. I'm good. You know, this place is starting to grow on me. There's a certain freedom being here. I just can't believe Bianca's getting married first. She's a mess. She never works out. She's completely let herself go. She's like a hideous troll. Are you sure that this is really about your sister, not about the fact that you want to get married? Psych class, Cosmo. <laughs> well, let me just tell you something. You don't want to be married, because marriage sucks. You're not married. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and she's so competitive. <laughs> I hate my sister. <sighs> Why is that such a problem? I hate my sister. In fact, I hate my whole family. Hating your family is a God-given right. <laughs> I wish I had a sister I could hate. <laughs> Why do you hate your family? You try growing up as the daughter of a minister in Vegas. Wow. Of course, we didn't start there. That's just where my father lost all his money. So, why don't you tell your brother that's why I don't like hanging out in this perfect little world? How's a person supposed to sleep when people aren't screaming at each other? Hmm? Well, you should have been around when my parents were still together. They fought constantly. My mother's a control freak and my dad screws around. Yeah, I think I slept with them. Thank you. See? We're not a perfect family. I'm pretty sure my great-grandparents were second cousins. <laughs> really? Well, that's good to know. It's creepy, but good. <laughs> Katie, I'm so sorry. Move over and I'll forgive you. Where have you guys been? We had to go help out Sophia. Did you know she has a sister that's a troll? Let's go upstairs. Oh, no. Just sleep. Really? Just sleep. Okay, I'll let you off the hook this time. <laughs> I've decided I'm not going to see you anymore. 
Okay. Why not? Because you left. Well, I'm here now. Yeah, well, you don't like it here. Yes, I do. <laughs> Come on, let's go to bed. So, tell me about your great-grandparents. <laughs> don't tell anyone, but they were second cousins. Really? That's just wrong. 